Now we are here with our favorite boy, Max. Look at those teeth. He's trying to chow it down. For Zulu's pride, we have these tasty hogfish. Look how big this lion boy is. I think Max is pretty excited to eat. What would you say? I think he is pretty excited to eat. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a very special video today. We are heading to the zoo, the Zoological Wildlife Foundation. I don't know if you could read it there on my shirt. If you guys have been on the channel before, you would know the animals that I'm talking about because today we have some interesting snacks for our lion pride. If you haven't been here before, welcome to the channel. I'm Landon Cher. We are gonna grab these fish right now and head over to the zoo, so I will see you there. And here we are with the lion kids. We got our lion girl right here. Hello, good morning. You got some mulch stuck to your face. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh, we want we want head scratches. We want head scratches. Come over here. We got Zulu waiting over here for some scratches too. Zulu. Hey big boy. Hey big boy. Oh, and the girlfriend comes over and says, hey, no, I get head scratches. Oh, I want head scratches. I want head scratches. Look at these two beautiful kids. There's also another white lion girl in the back there. I don't, I don't want him to pee on me. Sometimes he pees through the fence trying to mark me. These are the lion kids that we are going to be feeding today. We also have another pride on the other side of the facility over here. Never turn your back to a lion. Never get this close to a lion. I can only do this because I work with them. I know these specific cats. This pride and the other pride are all different and I know them really well. Let's go see Zulu again. Now Zulu is a little bit older than Max who you're gonna see in a second. He's our other male in the other pride. We also have a big liger over there named Zeus that you guys might have seen before on the channel. But this guy here loves some fish. We fed him tuna one time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just the biggest scratches in the world. He's really just a big dog. He's really just a big dog. He, ain't, he don't mean nobody no harm. Look at this big thick hair and all these oils. Look at my finger. Just by scratching him for a second, he has all these, all this dirt and oils. Nastiness, boy, you need a bath. We need to give him Beth. Anyhow, I haven't fed any reef fish to him, only the pelagic tuna that we got from Costa Rica, and he absolutely loved it. It was a really cool treat for him. But check out that video after this, guys, because I'm sure this is going to be really cool. Let's go check out our other pride. And just as we were on our way over to the other pride, look behind me. We have got a crocodile friend right here going in the water. We've got two crocodiles. Actually, there's one right there and one right there. There's a Cuban Nile hybrid, which is that guy right there, the smaller one. And this one is a Cuban crocodile. Look at that beast. But currently, we are actually in another enclosure with a different crocodilian dinosaur. And that is Agatha, the big girl. Look at this big, pretty alligator girl. That is one big alligator and she is definitely hungry. So if you guys wanna see these crocodiles and this big alligator girl eat in the next video, comment down below. Here she comes, here she comes. Come on, big girl. Look at that big gator girl. All right, and now we are here with our favorite boy, Max. Now he's growling because we actually have some of our fish right here. It's got some flies on it. Nothing unusual of a fresh of food, just like in Africa. This guy, he gets a little bit food aggressive. That's why we have the lockouts and everything. But I think Max, I think Max is pretty excited to eat. What would you say? I think he is pretty excited to eat. And would you look at that. Now guys, if this is something that you guys can't watch, you can go check out some of the other videos that don't deal with the animals eating. In the wild, these lions would be eating prey that they catch themselves. They're not catching fish typically unless it was something in a watering hole of some sort. But as you can tell, Max is pretty excited about this. And enrichment activities like this just brighten his day. And we got some fillets over here and some more fish over there for the other pride. So this beautiful red grouper my brother actually caught the other day, we took the fillets off, we eat those, and then what's left here is these bones and all of this meat that we haven't eaten it. The organ meat is actually very healthy for animals to eat, us to eat as well. And Max, Max is really excited about it. So I don't want to keep him waiting any longer. Max, we are going to give this to you right now, boys. Do you guys think Max is going to like it or not? Comment down below. 
Oh yeah, look at that, right there, right there. He says, oh wow, that's some tasty stuff. Look how big this lion boy is, and Zulu is bigger than he is, which is just crazy. Look at those teeth, he's trying to chow it down. Oh yeah, that is the face of a happy lion boy. Max has been patiently waiting, so we're gonna put his fish right over here, just right there, and then we are going to let him in. We're gonna let him in in three, two. Okay, all right, let's go. Oh my, I'm not the fish, look. Leave that open for you. Right here, right there. It's right here. There's the fish. Oh my goodness, grouper. Red grouper? We don't got these in Africa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this with me. I'm gonna check it out here. Oh, going straight for that delicious meat right off the bone there. He is really enjoying this grouper treat. He's taking his time with it right now. He hasn't crunched on the head yet. He's eating the tail off. Oh, there goes a little head shake there. Now by licking, oh, there's a little crunch. By licking that carcass, he actually is able to rip off pieces of meat. Their tongues, just like house cat tongues are rough, well these guys are the larger version. When they lick their prey items, it literally just takes off layer by layer of the flesh that's on those animals. So by licking this carcass, he's literally just peeling off that meat little by little. There you go. And this girl, this girl's now come over for a little fish skin treat. Do you like the fish? She says she's smelling it. I haven't smelled anything like this before. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll take it. She's being really gentle. Obviously not as grumpy as Max. She's just being a sweet girl. Oh yeah, we like that. There you go. You want another piece? You want another piece? Oh yeah, that's some good hogfish. That's some good stuff. This is Dana. I actually helped in raising her, and you guys have seen her here on the channel before. If you've been here, you're just a sweet girl. You're not a grumpy eater like Max is. Max does not want anyone around while he's eating. Max is just crunching down. Look at the progress he's made. Oh, there he goes. Listen to that, he's crunching on the head. Is that good boy? He is just chowing down. Get it, get it, get it. Crunch it. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Anyhow, Max is almost done here, so we are going to go feed Zulu and his pride. And now, for Zulu's pride, we have these tasty hogfish. All of these fish are really tasty for humans to eat if you guys have had them. These are fish that we frequently catch here off Miami or off the Bahamas. And uh, I don't think that lions are from the Bahamas, but he's smelling this and I think he thinks it's just as tasty as how Max thought it was. Look at this pretty boy. You can see he is older. Look at his mane. His mane is a lot thicker. He's trying to lick it through here. His mane is a lot thicker, but he doesn't really care so much about us being here. He just wants to get it. See the change in the demeanor of him and Max? Max is a grumpy boy. And Zulu, he's a, he's a nice big guy. 
he's patient, he's a little more gentle, he's a little wiser, a little older, you know, it comes with age. But let's, let's stop wasting time. Let's give these to him and see what he thinks. We're gonna open this up right here. And we're gonna put one right in there. That's a big one. And then we're gonna put, uh, you know what? Let's give both to him because he's a good boy. We're gonna put them right here just so that when we close it up, he can uh, be right next to where the camera's gonna be right up in the action, get you guys closer to it. And as you guys know, it's on the count of three, a two, a one, Zulu. Let's go, big boy. Now, I don't want to sit with this open like this. You're going to have to move a little bit. Can you move your back or your butt or something? Your butt is in the way of me closing this. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Mega crunch time on the head. Oh, I'm going to take this out of here. You come in, girl. And now the girl's coming in. You could get that. She's smelling it. She's saying, I think I'm going to take this and run. So she grabs it. Go get it. Take it. So Zulu decided to walk out of the lockout and enjoy his meal of a hogfish in the grass. And he is just loving it. The girls are both in there sharing the one carcass. They're really sweet with each other. This is a much more relaxed ride. Over there, they're younger kids, a little more energetic, and they just love to eat. These guys love to eat too, but they're so cool with each other. They share, and that is not very typical of lions. Usually, the male is going to eat first. He's probably going to eat a little bit more than the girls. Even though the girls and the young males actually hunt and catch the prey, they bring that item back. They let the male eat first, just like this. He'll take his turn, then the girls and the young males eat and that's how the pride works. Look at these little sweethearts. Now, if you guys didn't know, these are white lions. That's why they are that lighter color. These white lion girls were saved from can hunting in Africa, and they were brought here to zoological wildlife, and now they're eating fish, they are eating steak, they eat tuna. They're, they're living a pretty good life, I would say. But that is all for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, Please check out some of the other videos on the channel. There's so many more animals that we work with here in Miami and at the Zoological Wildlife Foundation. If you guys liked it that much and you want to subscribe to the channel, subscribe and watch some more stuff because we got a bunch more stuff coming. And well, if you have any suggestions for videos in the future, drop them in the comments below. I will see you guys next time. Peace.